Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to explore a Spring MVC framework. So what is a Spring MVC? A Spring MVC helps in building flexible and loosely coupled web application. The model view and controller uh, architecture helps in separating the business logic, presentation logic and navigation logic. Models are basically responsible for encapsulating the application data. The view render responds to the user with the help of model objects. Controllers are responsible for receiving the request from the user and calling the backend services. So in this video tutorial, I am going to create a simple hello world web application. And next video tutorial, I will explain you the flow of MVC. So here is the clips and here I'm gonna create a very first application, a Spring MVC application. So right click over here, so I have a clips Juno and here I have configured Tomcat 7. So uh, you can use Tomcat 7 or even Tomcat 8, doesn't matter. Uh, Spring MVC will work in same fashion. Now right click over here in left and here you have a different options and go to the dynamic web project and here i'm going to type hello uh, spring sorry spring mvc payback so this is my uh, project name and make sure that you have selected apache tomcat in runtime environment and keep everything as default and click on the next again click on the next and select this option generate generate web.xml this is also called deployment descriptor in the web world now click on the finish now here uh, we have created uh, our project this is web based project so you can see the small globe sign over here this is indicating then that this is a web based application now required jars you will have to copy in the leaf folder so these are the required jars basically uh, which i'm going to copy in the leaf directory so these are the required jars as of now for this application i have copied in the leaf folder so we have a common login a spring aop and these are the jars uh, for a spring core container right and wave and wave mbc jars which is related to a spring mbc i'm not going to interact with the database in this video tutorial so there is no related jars for the uh, i mean jdbc or any orm framework now so these are the dependent jars and uh, uh, i'm using i mean uh, eclipse latest jar that is 4.3.9 and this was released on the 7th uh, june 2017 so this is the latest one as of now okay so we have copied the latest jars now let's start with the uh, wave.xml or deployment descriptor so here in this deployment descriptor uh, i'm going to write hello spring mvp so this is basically display name so this is uh, optional right so if you do not write this that is also fine but the, here basically it describes about your project that's it now uh, when you talk about the spring mbc then a spring mbc uh, basically works uh, i mean there is a servlet it's called dispatcher servlet who, who works as a controller in a spring framework so first of all you will have to configure dispatcher servlet who works as a controller in mbc framework in web.xml or deployment description so this is just a servlet so how you register your servlet in uh, web.xml in similar fashion you will have to register the dispatcher servlet so here i'm going to write a servlet and within the servlet you have a servlet name servlet name and uh, servlet i'm going to specify dispatcher See, you are free to choose any name so here I'm going to, I have given the name as uh, dispatcher but you are free to choose any name now servlet class we need to specify and servlet class is nothing but the dispatcher servlet so if you don't remember pa uh, I mean qualified package name then you can 
press control shift t and search for the dispatcher subnet dispatcher subnet and here is the guy click on this and here you can copy qualified name so let me close my previous project so here go to the web.xml here is the web .xml and you can copy the qualified name of the subnet now every subnet has a, a sublet mapping tag as well right so that also we will have to specify sublet mapping and sublet mapping takes two uh, parameter first is the this sublet name which is same as this and you can specify the url pattern so url pattern you can specify in the different fashion you can uh, specify in the i mean wild card like uh, uh, but here i'm going to specify slash so this will work for the all urls right so you can specify in different fashion so we'll talk uh, on this uh, latter point of time as of now i'm just i have given the slash so this will work so any request coming with the slash will uh, uh, will uh, this uh, dispatcher sublet will the intercept those requests so that's the concept now uh, we are done with the web.xml now let's go and here uh, in uh, inside the web lineup right click over here and we have to create one more xml file and that is called a spring web configuration file so this is a simple configuration file and here naming convention of this configuration file would be the sublet name what you have given so dispatcher dispatcher first of all whatever sublet name you have given that name you will have to specify dispatcher then hyphen sublet dot xml this is the naming convention you will have to follow so here we have given the sublet name as dispatcher so dispatcher hyphen sublet dot xml so by default naming convention basically spring mbc follows like this but if you would like to give this name something else then of course you have some option to uh, you have provision to uh, give whatever name you want but uh, there would be some changes in the web.xml so that we will see in the next video series as of now just we are adhering, adhering with the just we are sticking with the default name so dispatcher servlet xml right and here we require a xml doc type which you will have to copy from any existing example so there are internet there are millions of example you can go and copy this doc type right here in this spring configuration file we have to uh, configure some spring related bins so first bin i'm going to specify so id is not really needed so directly i'm going to specify a uh, class name and class name is called internal resource view resolver so press ctrl shift t and search for internal resource view resolver this is the class name i'm talking about click on this arrow expand this guy and copy qualified that's it and you will have to copy this qualified and package name is too long so i do not remember basically so basically i copy from the jar itself now uh, this guy has a couple of properties and this property will have to inject through setter based dependency injection so first property we have a prefix prefix and prefix value you can specify i'm going to specify something like that web sorry web inf slash view view slash something like this we'll talk about this what is this now next property i'm going to specify A suffix so in this project just I'm trying to run this project in next project uh, next video I'm going to specify what is prefix suffix in a spring MEC flow and I would say dot JSP now uh, suffix I have given web INF slash views so inside the web INF I'm going to create a directory is called views And uh, JSP page, I'm going to create in, inside the uh, views itself. 
right so almost the configuration of this file is almost done and uh, now in src folder i'm going to create a uh, controller so we will have to create a simple class with com dot dot controller and package name i'm going to specify hello world hello world controller hello world controller and this is a simple class and this class it will have to annotate as at the rate controller so controller and here i'm going to create a some method a method is called public and uh, return type i will get model and view this would be the return type and method name i'm going to specify welcome and uh, here i'm going to return uh, object of model and view so new model and uh, view so model and view and if you look into the model and view there are a lot of constructors so people will sometimes get confused what uh, constructor i have to use so i'm going to use this is the simplest context which takes first name as the view name second is the model name and third is the model object right so view name i'm going to specify welcome page welcome page this is the our view name and this is the message this is a model name so i would say sorry welcome message and here this is the model object so model object here i'm taking as just a simple string i would say welcome to a spring sorry a spring mvc vault this is a simple message which I would, I would like to print on the uh, UI and uh, UI or view so view name is a welcome page so view name we'll have to create in the uh, view directory so this is just a JSP page I would say welcome page and uh, and uh, we have a model object this which contains this string and model object name is uh, welcome message and this message we would like to print on the UI and size I'm going to specify s3 and uh, we can use JSP expression language to access this message like this in this fashion so this is a simple now uh, this controller uh, will have to register in the uh, spring configuration file for auto scanning so we have a context uh, component is scan and base package we can specify the control package name that's it and almost we are done now let's right click and uh, in controller we can uh, we'll have to specify some more annotations like at the rate something is called request request mapping and here i'm going to specify value equal to slash that's it and here before this method i'm going to specify method equals to sorry so method equal to request method and request method we have a many kind of methods so here i'm going to specify get so just i want to get some response from the UI that's it and let's run this application and see what output we get so we got the response on the UI and that is coming from the controller so in this video tutorial i did not explain you entire flow and a lot of components uh, in the uh, this uh, example so all components along with that uh, how a spring uh, mbc flow works internally so that i'm going to explain you the next video tutorial so i hope you enjoyed learning this video still uh, this uh, learning of this project is not completed 
uh, until unless you do not watch my next video so in next video i am going to dig out every component so thanks for watching this video and see you